Hi, welcome to another video of the Dutch Watch Dude. As promised quite a while ago, I will uh, show you how you can measure the beat rate of your watch for only, say, $5. You can buy a time grapher. Those are not that expensive, but 200 euros, 300 euros, that's quite a regular price for those. You can make one yourself. What have I done? The most important part is how work, uh, how one of those things works. Actually, there is a microphone that picks up the ticking sound of your watch. So, a microphone is the most important part. You need a sensitive microphone and a possibility to connect it to something. What I did was something very easy. I took one of those uh, headsets that you get when you buy a phone. Most people have their own headset and don't use those quite cheap ones, but they are actually quite nice. So what I did is quite simple. I took the wire, I took the headset, and I only saved the part that the microphone contains. I never do preparation, and that always bites me in the ass, because, again, I I am very busy doing something that I should have done before. But, as you can see, I managed. It will probably a one hour video. Oh, well, look at this. It worked. Here we have the part of the headset with the microphone. The two little holes are the microphone, in this case it's Samsung. The button is not used for the microphone, so you can put it upside down and put your watch on it. It sounds easy, it is easy, but you can do it better. What I did is one of those uh, little tools that you can use to clamp your watch if you remove the back plate uh, or if you do any simple work on your watch. I have a few of them, most of them I break because they were very cheap. I did an upgrade to a better one, so I don't need all those cheap ones. I put the microphone underneath this part. I did fill the space uh, on the left and the right of the microphone with some uh, foam, put some tape on it and make a little hole uh, where the microphone is. Otherwise, yeah, the microphone will not pick up any sound. I used the bottom part of a lamp to make it stable and actually usable because you want to put your watch on it. Then we go to the most important part, a smartphone. There are a few smartphones you can use, uh, well actually two kinds, uh, the Android and the Apple phones. For Apple I really uh, don't remember what app uh, I used, uh, but for Android we're gonna open it. I said we're gonna open it. Look at this clock tuner. As you can see, it's doing something simply because I'm making noise. There are a few possibilities in that app. I know I should find another way to show it to you, but for now this will work. Maybe if I turn the light off, it works even better. And yes, it does. Target frequency. Very simple. It's the beat rate of your watch. You can put it on auto. The app will actually find out uh, what the beat rate is of your watch and uh, show it to you. I think I can do it in an easy way. I have here my little Timex. And looking at the time, it's running. Because it's a manual watch, so that is always waiting. You start the app, and now you see the target frequency is still on auto. Because it takes some time. Here you see the target uh, frequency is 1800 beats a minute, uh, an hour, sorry. This little 64-year-old Psycho of Psycho Timex is actually working excellent. Beat error 
is going up and down a little bit. But keep in mind, me talking and noises from the outside can mess up the results a little bit. The best thing to do is just to shut up and make sure nobody else is in the room. Then your measurement is actually quite good. As you can see, the graphics show what is happening. I try to zoom in on yep, the clock sound and the pulse, both are displayed. The pulse is the red line, the clock sound is the green line. And it always takes a little time, but then you can see that the beat rate is actually quite excellent for such an old watch. And in this case, it doesn't have any surface at all. The app, uh, Clock Tuner, uh, I have nothing to do with it, but uh, I still think I should promote it because for every serious watch lover, it is the most affordable way to make a device like this without breaking your bank. To show you that it also works on some newer watch, I put them on hold because you can just put another watch on it and after a while it will uh, show the right frequency and the right beat rate but that takes a lot of time because uh, it, to detect uh, the beat error you need an average uh, compared to the time so yeah if you now put a newer watch on it that has a higher beat rate it will mess up the results so I put on my uh, Mako, the Mako XL I press start, as you see the frequency is back to auto, it's detecting the frequency again. Mako should be running on 21,600 beats an hour, that's quite a lot faster than a little Timex. You also see if you want to show something it takes even more time than normally. Here we go. I was just want to check if the watch is still running. <laughs> but yeah, uh, because of the delay in starting to find the right frequency, you will see it is a little bit off. I I was just gonna say I measured it before and it was on five seconds fast a day. Uh, I see it's again on that uh, beat error. Here you have the graphics, but I don't think they are really interesting. You also see a lot of little dots. I have no idea what those do. Uh, probably something very useful, but uh, I'm not a watchmaker, so I only use this watch to see uh, if it is running well, I mean, if you have a watch that is, <coughs> sorry, if you watch that's really running uh, minutes too fast or minutes too slow, you can actually simply see how's the beat rate. Is it worth uh, open it up and try to adjust it? If you buy a watch, actually the same. Before uh, pulling the trigger on it, you can see if they probably messed it up. And a lot of people think the watch is not running uh, perfectly. Let's open it. Let's fool around inside and they do a lot of bad things and you'll never get it working. Just to try to get it working, a device like this is actually absolutely needed because otherwise uh, you adjust it, you wait a day and then you adjust it again. Now you can adjust it in just minutes. If you have the right beat rate, you measure it two or three times again and you can close the watch and you're a an happy puppy. That is actually all. I will do a review of the Orient later and the other Orient that I did a quick preview on, but uh, I don't have that much time at the moment. This was first on the list of promised uh, reviews, so here you go. 
I will put it quickly together again. All you need is the app Clock Tuner on Android. I thought I paid like five euros for the app. It's not a free app, but uh, you can, uh, I think, use it for like 30 minutes uh, to try it. So it's always a good thing uh, if you build something or you want to see if it is something that you can live with. Uh, download the app, try the app and see if you can do something with it. If it works for you, you save quite a few bucks on a serious time grabber. The other thing, to build one yourself, probably most people can build a better one than I did. I know it's not a piece of art, but it is working and that was actually everything I wanted because this is for me still an experiment. It works pretty good and if I find the time, I'm gonna build a better one. One that is actually uh, just looking as good as it is working. But for now, this is it. Five bucks time grabber that actually works like a gem. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. If you like my video, just press the push ups. Of the push ups. <laughs> you can do some push ups if you want. But if you uh, hit the thumbs up, uh, that would be nice. If you like the channel, follow the channel. And as always, uh, I have an uh, Instagram account with the same name, Dutch Watch Dude. So, don't hesitate, follow the channel for more interesting things. Have a great day.